guys I'm so excited to show you this Halloween tutorial it's the third one in my month of Halloween tutorials and it's super gory and weird and out there but it makes me so so happy and I'm starting this the same way I started all my other tutorials with the primer because you want this makeup to stay on the entire night and then I went in with my regular foundation routine so I used the MAC face and body and then I did quite a heavy heavy contour but I did the hungry contour like I told you about last week and that just angles a little bit more towards the mouth and then down towards the edge of the face and I'm using the Smashbox contour kit I do underneath my cheekbones my forehead the side of my nose on my jawline on my collarbone basically just like a serious serious contour so for the brows I kind of just did my regular brow routine but then when I got to the brow gel I just brushed my brows up a little bit more to make them look messy and I didn't really mind if a lot of the brow gel stuck to my skin it's totally fine and then for the eyes I went in with MAC Taylor Grey paint pot love this stuff it's amazing for this kind of look it just makes my eyes look really dark and kind of messy and then for kind of a bruised look because I want this to be a new zombie I went in with my Crayola and Super Color Wheel and I used the color Lake which is basically a very deep purple it's kind of a bruised shade and then just to intensify the bruises on the inner corner of the eye I used blue so you just got to blend everything nicely together and the thing with special effects is the more layers you add the more realistic it starts looking so my eyes look bruised now but I just add to it later I wanted to block out my lips completely because I want to start looking a little bit more dead and crazy looking so I used any sort of concealer that you have and then just to intensify that contour even more because apparently I didn't do it enough in the beginning I went in with a gray eyeshadow and I just kind of focused this right underneath my cheekbones not wanting to blend too much just to intensify that contour and make myself look even more hollow and then for the lips I wanted to make them look dead so I went in with my brow pencil and intensified the lines on my lips so I just used the brow pencil in the lines that I already had on my lips to make them look like they were cracking and they just look really really horrible and then I just put on regular mascara did a little bit of liner smudged it out you can make it look quite messy if you want to keep it simple and you don't want to scare people too much then you can keep the look here but I'm going to add a little bit more to it and I'm going to be doing a scar on my cheek so for that I need liquid latex and I need to separate a tissue into two and then I just tear it up into jagged pieces so you don't want the pieces to be perfect you want them to be kind of jagged and bumpy so you can stick it on and overlap pieces so basically you just do a layer of liquid latex a layer of tissue and you carry that on for about five or six layers I think I did six layers if you have liquid latex you can use that or if you have eyelash glue the only thing with using lash glue is that obviously it's going to waste it pretty quickly so you can get maybe a cheap one and any jagged edges you can leave those there because it makes it look a little bit more realistic and then I set everything with a last and final layer of liquid latex just to set all the edges and then while I wait for that to dry I did a little neck scar which is essentially where the bite started and then to make the face scar look a little bit more realistic I obviously added foundation over the top of that you add whatever foundation you used on your skin and then I used a tweezer, it looks scary but it's not and I basically then used a scissors to just cut through that latex just be careful when you do that, you can cut your skin, I don't want you to cut your skin so just be careful um, and then I just kind of tore it open with my fingers and this is the part that's really really cool because I start making the scar look really gory and disgusting so I added lots of browns, I actually used the Smashbox contour kit for the edges of the wound and the, towards the opening. And also just keep shading and adding to the wound to make it look a little bit more realistic. The more layers you add, the more realistic it looks. So the point is that my neck scar is my initial kind of like bite, this is where it all started. But then the face scar is where my face is starting to decay. So essentially my whole face will look like this over time but because I'm a new zombie it doesn't all look like that just yet so there's still red on the inside of the scar and then when I actually did the opening I used my Crayola and Super Color Wheel the same one I told you about earlier and again I used the lake and the red maroony shade to make the inside look like it's got some flesh so I started with the fleshy color and then I'm going to add black on the inside and I did some bruising on the eyes around the nose around the mouth just to make everything look a little bit more crazy and like dirty almost and then I added black on the inside of the wound to make it look a little bit deeper but I am going to add yellow later just to make it look a little bit more I don't know decaying like a decaying 
skin issue that's going on there. And then for the eyes, I didn't know if this was too much, but I feel like it actually tied the look in really nicely. I did veins underneath the eyes, kind of like a vampire. And then because I just thought that the wound didn't look like enough, I just added a tiny little one on top. And for this one, I made it more yellow and more disgusting and decaying. So I added a lot of yellow around that scar and I added yellow into the big scar as well. And then I thought that my forehead was looking bland, so I added a bruise. And basically what you do is you just use a stippling sponge. And I'm not entirely sure where you can get this, but I can do some research and leave it in the description box or leave it in the blog post. And I will do a separate video on how to do bruising, but basically it's the super color wheel. I just do the lake shade, I do maroon, a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow. And that just ties everything together and then you look like a crazy, crazy zombie. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what you loved about this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then definitely click the subscribe button to see any other Halloween tutorials. And I have some other very normal tutorials, not crazy like this. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.